I wish I could describe how amazing it feels out right now. It's kind of the perfect afternoon to get the horses out, get them out of the arena, and uh, go on a little training and trail ride session today. I'm going to get these horses groomed and saddled, or at least blue saddled. Come with us and we'll go on a little trail ride. I did have to throw a jacket on. It's not too cold, but once you get in the shadows and underneath some of these trees, it does get a little chilly. So I figured since we'll be gone for a while, might as well just throw on a jacket. That way I don't get too cold. And this is uh, this is my favorite jacket, by the way. This is a, uh, it's that uh, Wrangler denim. It's got the, I don't even know what it is, but it's a warm on the inside, that's all I know for sure. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. You know, I really love these trail rides. They're a good way to get your horse out of the arena and kind of get them using their, their minds and, and thinking about things because in an arena, everything is so controlled. When you're out here and there's deer running around or there's birds chirping or there's stuff breaking next to you, it really gets a horse used to all the outside elements. Being on the trail also lets you work on some things that you're working on in the arena, but in an outside environment. That's why we do trail rides, just to do some, um, just kind of relieve some pressure and relieve some stress out of the horses that they may be getting in the arena. You can still do everything that you're doing in the arena outside of the arena. I mean, I still work on the same things outside of the arena on the trails that I do when I'm in our arena. With all things that I say on this channel, I'm not a professional. That's why I don't really do a lot of the like tips and training videos on horses because I'm not really a professional. I know what works for me and what works for our horses, so take everything that I say with that in mind. I don't train outside horses because I just don't want to. I like training my own. But if you hear me say something on this channel and you want to implement it into your program, by all means, go for it. I really hope that everybody is enjoying this channel. One of my goals for 2021 is to make this channel one of the best horse channels on YouTube. Not just for team roping, not just for dressage or anything like that, but overall, one of the best horse channels on YouTube. And it starts with you guys. So thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed, everybody that has viewed any of the videos. We cannot thank you enough. I am so looking forward to another year of putting together these videos and sharing all of our adventures and experiences with y'all.
He said, no. Nah. You can keep that ugly looking sucker. Do any of y'all take your horse on trail rides? And if you do, how often do you do it? Do you do it once a week? Do you do it twice a month? Uh, do you do it a couple times a week? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested in knowing. We worked our way down the fence lines, working up the river right now. We gotta go up this steep little hill right here and then we will be in the home stretch. Well, 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 look who came to meet us. Hello ladies. Well, I'm taking the mare and blue for round two, so. Thank you. After blue and I took Leo with us, he was a little bit, he was a little sweaty, so we put this cooler on him and I'm walking him out, that way he cools off and dries a little bit before it gets chilly.